हाय एवरीवन इंट्रो पहले ही कट गया इस बार बट गुड टू हैव एवरीवन विद अस थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर जॉइनिंग अस इट्स गुड टू बी विद यू अगेन लॉट्स टू गेट थ्रू टुडे अभिजीत वाज टेलिंग अस ऑल अबाउट हिज सार्टोरियल इंक्लिनेशंस सो अभिजीत आई आई हियर सुन ये अंग्रेजी में बात करना बंद कर गालिया देता है इंग्लिश में बात करने के लिए ये यूनिक यूनिक्लो डेकाथलॉन कहाँ से फैंसी हो गया साले लकॉस्ट तो फैंसी है ना लकॉस्ट तो फैंसी है ना लवड़ा का फैंसी है बोलते रहते हो की येलो येलो मत पहनो <laughs> और मैंने येलो के सिवाय सब रंग खरीदे एंड <laughs> मैं uh, और चुतियों सबके सब टी शर्ट जो अच्छे वाले थे वो सब येलो थे <laughs> और तुम लोगों ने तुम हरामियों के वजह से व्यूअरों के वजह से मैं खरीद नहीं पाया अपना येलो टी शर्ट ठीक है और सब येलो के सिवाय बाकी सब कलर लिया पर येलो नहीं लिया सब तुम चुतियों के वजह से तो और फिर मैं घर आया और जब मैं अरेंज कर रहा था सब में पुरानी कपड़े सब डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करने के लिए मेरे को आई गॉट अ टोटल ऑफ सिक्सटीन येलो टी शर्ट माई गॉड विच है I feel like you have the most yellow t-shirt out of any human being that has ever existed. Yeah, I like yellow t-shirts. They go well on my skin color. You see uh, white and yellow is a fantastic combination. Gore 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 logo pe yellow t-shirt lagta hai. I will give you that. As opposed to say as as you know opposed to say kushal because you know black and yellow has shades of diarrhea or constipation. <laughs> you know I just realized my wife, my wife popular wish to leave us on. Taunted me yesterday on uh. on the phone. My wife taunted me yesterday. You know why are you wearing white on the show all the time? Either your podcast and even on Shams. And I just realized I wore white again. Fuck! <laughs> I don't realize. Yeah. And she's like, why are you wearing white all the time? I keep seeing you in a white T-shirt. My, my baby, मुझे फोन पर सुना रही थी कल और आज फिर हक दिया मैं. सफेदी की चमकार नहीं मगर बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आई आई हैव मोस्टली ब्लैक आई थिंक आई एम अरे मेरे पास भी मैं भी ब्लैक व्हाइट मेरे ज्यादातर ब्लैक व्हाइट कभी कभी रेड और येलो मैं भी ये चार ही कलर होते हैं यार मैं कौन यार ज्यादातर यार हम लोग तो ऐसे ही करते हैं टट्टे इडली खा लो तुम खाओ साले टट्टे इडली टट्टे इडली खा लो हां Gargi is Where like Kushal is aspiring it? to whiteness. Aspiring for whiteness. Uh. <laughs> yes, he is. See, it's a subliminal. It's his. Uh, yes. It's his latent inferiority complex. Yes. Acha, yeah, ruko. To... Uh, I, I. We have to. You know, we have to start today's show by a very. Did first yellow because of me? We have to start today's discussion. Uh, Are you? By... Rana, your favorite color is red. Hai, hai, re. इंटरनेट पे झूठ बोलती है लड़की चंदन शास्त्री आप सभी को मेरे You okay. have to, you yeah. have to realize uh, they, that Shastri ji, see, बैठे की धरुए हैं. Shastri ji, Copenhagen में बैठ के हम लोग को सुना रहे हैं ज्ञान. Copenhagen में और Shastri ji के कितने followers देख लो? Five point six six lakhs. Yeah. Yeah. Shastri ji भी कोई छोटे मोटे आदमी नहीं है. नहीं. अच्छा. अभी सुनो. एक स्वागत है. मित्रों मैं आज आपको इस वीडियो बताने जा रहा हूँ. स्त्री आपके मोहब्बत में दीवानी बन जाएगी. चड्डी पर नाम लिख करके यहाँ छिपा दो अगर चड्डी पर नाम लिख करके यहाँ छिपा देते हैं तो स्त्री आपके मोहब्बत में दीवानी बन जाएगी स्त्री आपके प्यार के बिना एक पल भी नहीं रह पाएगी स्त्री जो है बार बार आपका प्यार में तड़पने लगेगी पल पल आपका प्यार में तड़पने लगेगी आपके बिना वो एक पल भी नहीं रह पाएगी आखिर चड्डी में नाम लिख करके कहा पर छिपा के रखना है और किस जगह छिपा कर रख देने से ही स्त्री का दिलो दिमाग में आपके नाम का मोहब्बत तोड़ने लगे 
मित्रों अगर आप किसी स्त्री से मोहब्बत करते हैं और किसी स्त्री से को अगर आप दिल दे बैठे हैं किसी स्त्री से अगर आप प्यार करते हैं वो स्त्री अगर आपको प्यार नहीं करती है वो स्त्री आपके तरफ देखना तक पसंद नहीं करती है तो आप अपने पहना हुआ चड्डी में नाम लिख करके अगर यहाँ छिपा देते हैं तो स्त्री जो है पल भर में आपका प्यार में तड़पने लगेगी और पल भर में आपका प्यार में दीवानी हो जाएगी आपके मोहब्बत में वो पागल बन जाएगी आखिर इसको कैसे करना है किस दिन करना है इसमें ना कोई खर्च की आवश्यकता है और ना कोई इसमें पैसे की जरूरत है और ना कोई आपको विशेष दीर्घकार मुहूर्त का जरूरत है ना कोई मंत्र की जरूरत है और ना कोई किसी प्रकार को जागृत करने की जरूरत है बहुत ही आसान तरीके से खतरनाक वसीकरण आप कर सकते हैं अचूक प्रभावशाली खतरनाक वसीकरण का टोट के मैं बताने जा रहा हूं आखिर इस वसीकरण को कैसे किया जा सकता है तो आप हमारे वीडियो पर बने रहें वीडियो अगर आपको अच्छा लगे तो एक लाइक अवश्य कीजिएगा और कमेंट बॉक्स पर जाकर के जय माँ कामाख्या जरूर लिखिए ताकि माता कामाख्या की कृपा आपके ऊपर सदा के लिए बनी रहे मैं यही प्रार्थना करता हूँ सो बात है आए, कसम कच्छे की <laughs> मैंने जब ये वीडियो देखा था मतलब मेरा दिमाग काम करना बंद हो गया कि हम हमारी लाइफ में क्या उखाड़ रहे हैं एग्जैक्टली एंड देखिए लोग बोलते हैं कि हम लोग यू के नॉट एटलीस्ट हमारी ऑडियंस हमको ये तो अक्यूज नहीं कर सकती कि हम लोग ऑडियंस की परवाह नहीं करते हम लोग इतनी ऑडियंस की परवाह करते हैं वे आर हेल्पिंग पीपल फाइंड लव ऑन द इंटरनेट राइट नाउ अगर आप आज बैठे हुए हैं तो देखिए शो को देखते जरा चड्डी पर चहेती औरत का नाम लिख दीजिएगा पल भर में सर आपके प्यार में लड़की गिर जाएगी तो प्लीज मेक श्योर टू एंटर अभिजीत ने अपने कच्छों में राणा यूब का नाम लिखा हुआ उसने मेरे को देखो मैं हरा चीज पी रहा हूँ अरे ये वो फालतू वाली बबल टी पी रहे क्या तू ये मतलब यहाँ यहाँ उल्टा हो गया राणा ने अभिजीत का नाम लिख दिया तो ये क्या नाम क्या उसका पाती ने ना तेना गुला ये देखो ये ये कितना सा हाँ। सुंदर सा कमेंट किया है ये साई रक्षित रघुपति ने अभिजीत का निपल चमक रहा है शास्त्री जी का सुन के <laughs> शास्त्री जी का सुन के <laughs> और और सुनो ये मिलाप हाँ। रानी ने लिखा है मैं कच्चा नहीं लंगोट पहनता हूँ क्या करूँ तो लंगोट पे लिख ले भाई तो लंगोट पे लिख थोड़ा हाँ बस जितना लिख सकता है लंगोट पे उतना लिख ले हाँ। तेरा वेस्टर्नाइज हाँ। नहीं है तेरा इंडिक वशीकरण है इंडिक वशीकरण हाँ। है तेरा हाँ exactly. शास्त्री जी करवाएंगे कोपन हेगन में बैठ के डोंट सब कोपन हेगन के जितने भी लोग हैं सब अपने कच्चे पे लड़की का नाम लिख के घूमते रहते हैं यार <laughs> शास्त्री जी इज वायरल तो यार स्पीकिंग अब अच्छी बात तो कर ली अब सीरियस बात भी कर लेते हैं उसके बाद फिर से अच्छी बात करेंगे तो इट इज गोइंग टू बी अच्छी बात सैंडविच बी फनी थिंग सैंडविच बिटवीन समथिंग सीरियस सो द बिग द बिग न्यूज दैट हैपन डे ऑल ओवर इंडिया आई थिंक मोस्ट पीपल हैव हर्ड ऑफ इट इफ यू हैवेंट हर्ड ऑफ इट आई टेल यू राइट नाउ थमनेल पे तो देख ही लिया होगा दैट यासिन मलिक हैज फाइनली बीन कन्विक्टेड ऑफ हिस क्राइम्स and by an nia court a lot of people were expecting him to get the death penalty but as far as i'm aware and please connect correct me either of you if i'm wrong but he was being tried for uh ye yeah, terrorism funding hawala charges he wasn't being tried for the actual terrorism that he has committed so for terrorism funding kinds of charges generally speaking the death penalty is not on the table uh but he has i think we can rest assured that he's not going to get out of prison alive because this these are the charges that he's pleaded guilty to so he's section uh, 122b he's gotten 10 years 121a he's gotten 10 uapa he's got life imprisonment and on top of that he's got uh, section 121 which is waging war against the state he's got another uh, life sentence so he's got two consecutive life sentences on top of that he's got another 30 40 years to go so i think uh, so here's the thing 
it is the waging yeah. war against the indian union which is another word for treason mm. uh, it does carry the death penalty mm. my real worry in all of this is ye jitna der jail mein rahega utna zyada danger badhta hai to indian citizens that one more ic814 style hijacking takes ah uh, hmm samajh rahe ho na wo jo lavde jinko humne release kiya tha yeah ic814 ke time they hadn't even been even charges hadn't been framed against them yeah so i don't know what these people are thinking hmm i have a, i have always opposed the death penalty okay it doesn't matter how heinous the crime and things but life me has to be in life at some point yeah there have to be standards for parole to release somebody but the death penalty has to be applied when there is a danger to other indian citizens when continued incarceration poses a danger mm okay and that is actually a reflection of the lack of state capacity to prevent a hijacking mm do you, why do you now, think the court said that this does not uh, constitute a rarest of the rare case look i mean i don't think they quoted rarest of rare here right they I said i am un- right? i think in one of the no, judgments they that, that was that was that? that was last to last week that was a judgment on a particularly brutal rape here they said they were unconvinced mm. by the nia argument acha for the death penalty acha acha So Kushal give me your initial thoughts on on uh, the conviction of Yasin Malik I still think he's going to get a death penalty he's yet to be charged for the murder of those army officers or uh, mm. soldiers the four soldiers that he killed that is still to be announced so I think uh, they might give him a death penalty in that case look I have always been very clear I am not opposed to death penalty I am yeah. someone who says it should be in the rarest of rare cases and in fact I had asked this question on Twitter I was like you know i i know abhijit is opposed to the death penalty fundamentally so mm. my case is very clear there are some cases where there is just no excuse of mm. not giving a death penalty to someone i made the example of the nirbhaya rapist that was a classic case of a death penalty kasab case kasab case and and this gentleman over here definitely <sighs> deserves a death penalty or bitta karate hota to usko yeah. bhi tapka aise hi tapka dena chahiye aur aise bahut sare hain the point over here is that he has been look at the irony i you know i was talking to my friend and i told him that this reminded me of the al capone case also mm. how many remember al capone was never charged for yeah. all the murders and the killings he did he was eventually charged for a accounting fraud yeah you know irony of irony is even this guy has been charged in many funding and terror funding cases the the most air tight case 2017 ka case hai by the way yeah so it's it's interesting how eventually all these people um you know have to be uh, yeah you know taken in that sense as far as i'm concerned i'm disappointed that he's not been given the death penalty mm. uh, uh, has not been sorry one second one second there's a very important comment sanjukta basu has written kushal should be charged for stealing my heart kushal kushal should be charged for stealing my heart ये ये कौन सा ये कौन सा ढूंढ रखा है सालों ने साले हराम जादे ये लोग साले एक एक हैंडल बना के आते हैं बस का माहौल है और रबीश है आजम बस का माहौल है but yeah I mean you were saying that it should be I think you were talking about the rarest of rare cases right and did you did, yeah, did i you don't know if the, the, huh. isn't this the rarest of rare cases i mean how many more people need Aur to die or rare milega bhai yeah huh. the, i don't get it how many more people need to die for us to be convinced that uh, yasin malik needs to be hanged and yeah. boss why should my tax payer money go to this mustanda's feeding yaar yeah. i i have a huge problem with this ek to ye hamare logo ko marta hai it's not hindu muslim indians yeah. ko mara hai usne और उसके बाद भी मैं उसको पैसा दू जिंदा रखने को जिंदगी भर अरे टपकाओ साले को व्हाट हैव यू मेड ऑफ़ द रिएक्शंस ऑफ़ पाकिस्तानीज़ ऑन इट देयर बीन सम वेरी वेरी फनी रिएक्शंस फ्रॉम पाकिस्तानी सबसे बढ़िया तो मेरा है कि ये साला शाहिद अफरीदी तो चूतिया है उसको तो नेक्स्ट इमरान खान बनना है, है वैसे। हाँ। वो तो वो चूतिया ही है नहीं वो दूसरा कौन था अगर इन्होंने डेथ पेनल्टी दे दी यासीन मलिक को तो बहुत बुरा होगा ओ हम तो डर गए मैं जो तुम्हारे घर में जाके तुमको थप्पड़ मार के आएंगे उल्लू के पठे 
और ये है जी जर्नलिस्ट फ्लीनास कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर टू डी डब्ल्यू न्यूज इन दी उर्दू डी डब्ल्यू उर्दू जर्नलिस्ट कराची पाकिस्तान डी डब्ल्यू भी साले नमूने ही भरे हुए हैं अरे ये क्या अबे यार कौन सा है 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 उसका छोड़ अरे वो वो नहीं मेरा वही था मेरे अंदर का जाके कि तू कौन कौन ये बट कसम से यार कभी कभी ना पाकिस्तानियों को देख के इंस्पिरेशन भी होती है मतलब इनकी इनका देश देखो इनकी देश का इस्लामिस्टों ने इंडिया ने इन्होंने खुद ने मिलके देश के पिछवाड़े का शामी कबाब बनाकर रखा हुआ है लेकिन सालों की अकड़ ही नहीं जाती है मतलब दैट इज आल्सो इंस्पिरेशनल टू टू एन एक्सटेंड हमारे यहाँ देश में लड़की को हमारे यहाँ देश में पिछवाड़े से तो शामी कबाब भी निकलता है ना पिछवाड़े से तो शामी कबाब भी निकलता है ऐसा शामी कबाब बना हुआ मगर शाम दैट इज एक्सपेक्टिंग See, let, let's let's forget let's forget the comment from his Pakistan. Who? What we should focus on is Bugsy's comment. Kushal seduces wow. all the Very women nice. all the time. What the hell? His his comment section at all. Yar, a comment me laga rahega varna. No, but Pakistan se Sham. Why do you expect anything else? That nation literally exists. Yeah. On on the hatred of India. There's nothing else in that nation. Yeah. Look, See, India always existed. Pakistan needed India to exist. Yeah. Yeah, Pakistan needs India to exist. Pakistan needs the Kashmir issue to exist. Allah, Kashmir issue. This day solve will be solved. This day Pakistan ka aadha raison d'etre hi khatam ho jayega. Dekh lo, dekh lo, jal ko pura. Shabash, shukla. Kya baat hai? What? Ye Siddharth ne khud apna photo kya nahi dal ke rakha? Yeah, I think I think Siddharth shukla is also. Ye, uh, ye, ye, ye Siddharth shukla Kushal Mehra ka tattoo hai. एग्जैक्टली they are too absorbed with their own thing like imran khan's little sack of uh, islamabad that's happening in whatever right now sack of islamabad too... yeah he sack yeah. islamabad they are his supporters yeah yeah, yeah. Ha. yeah. Ha. so let's look at the positives boss uh, it's much less than how they used to react once upon a time yeah hmm hai na to theek hai kar le do hamara kya jaata yeah Yeah, what what is crazier though is the response of somebody like an Akar Patel, which is which is wild to me because this guy used to be the ex head of Amnesty India, like the state. ठीक है हम लोग we we rag on India right now as well कि ये ये खराब है वो खराब है but imagine the state that India used to be in where the head of you know the premier human rights organization on the planet of the of the India chapter of that is, is an open terrorist sympathizer. सिंपथाइजर क्या यार सपोर्टर मतलब ये हालत हो रखी थी इंडिया की आई थिंक दैट्स द बिगर टॉकिंग बॉस दैट इज अगेन शाम दैट इज द क्वालिफाइंग क्राइटेरिया व्हेन यू सबमिट योर रेज्यूमे वन ऑफ द रिक्वायरमेंट्स दोस पीपल हैव इज डू यू हेट योर नेशन डू यू हेट हिंदूस या इफ यू यू नो इफ यू फिट दोस बॉक्सेस देन ओनली दे विल हायर यू दैट इज द क्वालिफाइंग क्राइटेरिया सो यू शुड एक्सपेक्ट नथिंग बट those you know behavioral traits from these guys who work for all these places like i mean the world press freedom index this index that. i mean they were having a fucking index about uh, you know kya tha wo elon musk ne kaun sa index bola tha jisme aapka climate change rating aa rahi hai usme hi tesla bhi hai main to usme exxon hai ah kya baat hai exxon top 10 mein tesla doesn't make you know ah. so 
at the end of the day this is basically these are co- cozy clubs where everybody is jerking each other off yeah. and you just go there and you feel good if you agree with them you are part of the club these are elites and you know i don't want to sound like those fucking crazy forchan people but sometimes they do fucking <laughs> yeah. sound like them yeah. i mean it, it is what it is it is exactly what it is i mean it, it is a bunch of people who basically jerk each other's friends off and you know each other off and each other's friends off ek ek dusre ke dosto ko hi khali invite karte hai apne platform pe ek dusre ke dosto ki hi stories publish karte hai india mein bhi jab saale fact finding mission pe aate hai to apne hi dosto se baat karte hai kisi right winger se to baat karenge nahi fact finding mission pe so this is all a close club maine ek ek video dekha wo wf mein sameer ka sameer saran ka maine share bhi kiya twitter pe sameer ne achhi li majha dikhao bajao bajao dikhao 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 bahut acha chhota sa chhota sa clip dalta hu kyunki nito sala wo log kami ne log copyright strike kar denge iske liye magar sameer ne bahut acha jawab diya usme orf wale copy strike karenge na orf ka nahi 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 ye orf ki tarah ye nahi ye world economic forum ka hai ruk ja ye actually worth airing hai मतलब मजा आ गया समीर ने मेरा दिल खुश कर दिया yeah. मेरा दिल गार्डन गार्डन हो गया गार्डन, समीर गार्डन ने जो ली उसको एक तो मजा आया यू हैव वेरी गुड सीन समीर प्राइवेट में जब इन लोगों की चड्डी उतारता है ना क्लोज डोर मीटिंग्स में तो और भी मजा आता है <laughs> रुको रुको ये देखो मजा आएगा ये देखो आई थिंक देयर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू Russia as a the Russian proposition has very few takers anywhere in the world, uh, but 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 condemning them and 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 sending them to uh, Saturn to uh, live there. Off, off. Alex wants to jump in, but can I, can we at least say that buying a lot more oil from the Russians doesn't mean that you are that bothered by them? So you know, uh, I was telling someone else in the morning. I had, in the maths class, first thing that we learned was four into zero is still zero. So even if I was to buy four times more oil than Russian, it's so negligible that uh, uh, Germany would chew that up in the afternoon, like my foreign minister mentioned. So it doesn't. <laughs> I like this. Four times <laughs> yeah, zero is <laughs> still zero. <laughs> yes, Samir. Ne, uski ye driver ki shakal dekhna wali thi jab Samir ne usko sunaya. Ian <laughs> yeah, Bremer, yar, ek, ek, at, at a time, Ian Bremer me thoda dimag hua karta tha, but he's gone off the deep end for the last like yeah. five or six years. ये अभिजीत थोड़ा थोड़ा सा छोड़ इतना दे मत जोर इतना से ना, भाई इतना हाँ, मतलब इतनी उंगली डाल के भी अभी निकाल लेगा बस इतना बस बस कंट्रोल उदय कंट्रोल सारी बड़ा से यही निकाल लो आ, इसको अनम्यूट कर दे अभी हाँ। साला चूस ये गोरा निपल पी क्या रहा है <laughs> ये क्या क्या पता नहीं क्या सब अजीब सी सब के कट, एक कटे कटे हुए हुए निपल हैं ये ये ना कुशल के काले काले निपल्स हैं उसको मैं काट काट के ऐसे खाता हूँ साले इतनी सिगरेट फूंकता है दाल खरीदने के पैसे नहीं है घर को पाकिस्तान बना रखा है दाल दाल खरीदने के पैसे नहीं है <laughs> so, so the question now comes, you know, that okay, you know, the 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 conviction of uh, Yasin Malik has happened, and maybe he'll get the death penalty in the in the future cases as well. So for now, you can call it a partial victory for India, partial victory for Kashmiri Hindus and other Kashmiris that were affected by this terrorism that this guy f- uh, created and funded as well. The the question now becomes कि यार ये जो problem इन लोगों ने create की है जो separatism की problem है I think the victory will only be complete a lot of people say when you know the at least the the Jammu and Kashmir that is currently ad, administered by India not not I'm not talking about POK just now but at least even though जो India को जो administer करता है उस Kashmir को पूरी तरह से integrate किया जाए that you know constitute a complete victory but to do that what what is the best way to do that you know bahut there's a there's a suggestion going around where people are saying abhijit that uh, jammu and kashmir should be bifurcated again and jammu should be given statehood separately and then you know a, a follow a carrot and stick approach with kashmir but the problem with that is some people also say ki if you do that then then isolates kashmir even further ke jammu to develop hota rahega but kashmir gets more and more and more and more isolated So, so you know, you if you go to Jammu these days, you get more imported goods and fancy stuff in Jammu hmm. than you do in Delhi. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
uh, it's it's incredible. Jammu is one of the ugliest cities I've been to. It's still one of the ugliest cities, <coughs> but you get more fancy stuff there than you do in Delhi. Mm. Kashmir. <coughs> the problem is, uh, I supported the solution once upon a time. Keep buy for eight karo, but I've realized it's wrong for one very simple reason. You are essentially then drawing the line, telling Pakistan hmm. that this part is what you aim for. Yeah, this is the settled boundary. Tum ye part le lo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not going to happen. Hmm. So it's it's very dangerous in cartographic terms. For any final settlement, if and when it happens, I'm not saying there is a yeah. final settlement happening. But if and when there's a final settlement that happens with Pakistan, it becomes very problematic. Where you're essentially telling them that, "Boy, this is it. Take it." Hmm. Hmm. It also gives them a way out. They say, "Yeah, Jammu doesn't need it. This partition of this is. You, you, we will keep it." Yeah. So, you know, so it's problematic. The the. is the most viable solution the solution that you know a lot of people have suggested including you know people like subramanian swami where he said ki you take a large patch of land and you settle the kashmiri hindus there give them homes there settle a large number of ex servicemen serving uh, army officers there and they've also said that it provides uh, you know a base of operations for maybe businesses that want to come and set up in kashmir but don't feel safe enough to uh, safe enough to come and set up as well do you think that is the most viable situation what is the most viable situation it, it, for the resettlement of kashmiri not, hindus it is not the most viable situation it is the hmm. only viable situation hmm okay that demographic change without that demographic change there is absolutely yeah. no way in hell Mm. that you are going to be able to do squat now i yeah. tell you why you first have a conflict economy where everybody is invested in the conflict okay uh, all the generals and military units get extra allowances and extra everything extra funding mm. and whatever for the counter insurgency your promotions are based on the number of encounters and kills and all of that uh, your uh, 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 almost 60% of the population of the that state in one way or another directly or indirectly depends on the conflict economy yeah to mother conflict khatam karoge then the economy of that place is completely screwed yeah so what ends up happening is if you don't have the guts and unfortunately in the last 3 years they say oh par covid tha hum kuch nahi ban jo covid tha okay basically they put no thought into deconflicting the economy hmm now is demographic change a ham fisted approach yes it is but unfortunately given how incompetent your government is it is the only approach left it is ham fisted because it creates a completely new economy hmm. when you have settlers see understand it's not just the demography of having new settlers okay it's the way that suddenly land starts getting cleared for them for them to build up yes it is how security <sighs> for them becomes a business and therefore there is an incentive once new businesses and things like that start which are not dependent on conflict hmm new jobs come out which are not dependent on conflict more and more people get attracted away from it there is an incentive because even then when you're paying bribes and things to uh, uh, cops and things like that there is an incentive ki business achhi tarah se chalna chahiye to either terror attack nahi hona chahiye hmm this is the main reason that singapore dubai and london are extremely rare terror attacks rare to non existent terror attacks hmm. because 99% of terror funding is usually laundered through singapore dubai or london interesting okay hmm so it's a very very important part of it i don't look our government just doesn't think through these things right there's no hope for them they're very basic level thinkers hmm Uh, I, so, I I know everything. So so you think for 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 the for the government and the competence of the government, this is the only viable solution. Ha, agar agar humare hmm. dekho PhD level ka government tha, to <laughs> bahut sare alternatives hote hain. Hmm. Thik hai na? Ye pakoda economics wale chutiye hain. Inke liye bas ye karna padta hai. Unko pakode se zada kuch pakode talne se zada kuch aata nahi. Hmm. To pakode dekho tum jaake dekho. किसी का टैलेंट हो सकता है कि वो बहुत अच्छे पकोड़े बनाए 
ठीक है ना पर पकोड़े वाले को तुम जाके श्रोडिंगर्स कैट समझा नहीं सकते हो ना श्रोडिंगर्स कैट जब तुम इंटरनेशनल साइंटिफिक कॉन्फ्रेंस कर रहे हो तब उनको जाके श्रोडिंगर्स कैट समझा बट हाउ डू यू एक्सप्लेन श्रोडिंगर्स कैट टू पकौड़ा वाला पकोड़े वाले को ये समझाना चाहिए कि बेटा देखो जब तुम बेसन मिलाते हो वो प्याज के पकोड़े में तो वो कच्चा पकोड़ा है और जब तुम तेल में डालते हो तब वो कच्चा है या पक्का है जब तक तुम उसको निकाल के काट नहीं सकते हो तब तक तुम्हारे को पता नहीं नहीं पकोड़ा और और उसके बाद जब वो भूरा हो जाता है बाहर से तभी तुम्हारे को पता है कि वो पका हुआ पर जब वो इमीडिएटली तेल के अंदर जाए वो श्रोडिंगर का पकौड़ा है तो पकोड़े वाले के लिए तुम पकोड़ा टर्म्स में ही समझा सकते हो तो पकोड़ा इकोनॉमिक्स वालों के लिए तुम पकोड़े के टर्म्स में ही ये सब कर सकते हो सही बात सही बात है कुशल व्हाट डू डू यू यू थिंक थिंक दैट इज़ ओनली वायबल ऑल्टरनेटिव एंड एंड नंबर टू हाउ वायबल डू यू थिंक इट इज आई थिंक द कश्मीर सॉल्यूशन ओनली कम्स इफ द रेस्ट ऑफ इंडिया प्रॉस्पर्स दैट क्रिएट्स यू नो कैस्केडिंग इफेक्ट एंड that's the only for a long term solution there is no short term solution i think a lot of the solutions lie in economic yeah. growth across india once you have those economic growth kind of scenario then you create a si- situation where to think that i uh, tell you why even confident. if kashmir is a shit show a lot of people out of <coughs> kashmir uh, a lot of people will move out of kashmir and go to other pastures and that's hmm. the only way out of this and then you have to have a security apparatus around that in my opinion without any security apparatus you can't do anything you just yeah. and uh, and also people Kushan, don't realize tumne baat mara kya tumne baat mara kya nahi tere ko wahan se smell ho raha hai kya no to aise kyun dikh raha hai jaise ki kisi ne baat mara theek se dekh Exactly. And, and also, people need to realize that uh, one of the lowest EFRs is of the Kashmiri Muslim. So, what mm. about that? वो भी तो discuss कर लो. The lowest EFR in India is of the Kashmiri Muslim. FII. Hmm. जा के check कर लेना. Yeah. कितना है? But the, the, the so so do you think that is basically I am uh-huh. trying to answer your demography angle. They have the lowest uh-huh. EFR. नहीं, आई थिंक वट ही वॉज वट ही अभिजीत मेंट वॉज वहां पर इवन इन रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द टी एफ आर वहां पर डेमोग्राफी को बैलेंस करने की जरूरत है बिकॉज अनटिल एन अनलेस यू डू बैलेंस द डेमोग्राफी ये हार्ट्स एंड माइंड वाला सिस्टम वहां पर काम नहीं करेगा go there right it's like you have to first assure them about security to that actor that that lady uh, kashmiri actor yeah no he she she got shot so yeah so that's the whole thing you you have to first ensure security create that atmosphere of security then maybe you can be in a position where uh, these kinds of uh, assurances are done but as far mm. as demography is concerned i actually am uh, not that worried about the demography of kashmir mm. uh, they they're going to be extinct anyways mm mm-hmm. yeah so let me tell you why this is wrong we are increasingly realizing that there is different layers of violence one is when you're dirt poor there's a lot of societal violence okay so for example people would, for a long time they would say africa mein sub saharan africa mein terrorism nahi that was true terrorism nahi tha but there was horrific violence look at the number yeah. of people that got killed in the congo civil war and things like that okay so there used to be terrible violence then you come to the middle level where societal violence is less but the chances of terrorism increase then you come to the higher income stage which again becomes very problematic because remember it is not overall high income it is inequality that produces a lot of developed world terrorism Mm. so you look at say uh, muslims in france or germany or places like that which is the highest producer of terrorism in the western hemisphere mm. one thing you'll see is that they have the lowest standards of living so it's it's, it's still much higher than say a, a low uh, a middle to high middle income group family in india mm. okay uh, a, a a high middle income family here probably can only afford a uh, Ertiga or something like that, 
Mm. Uh, these people would be able to afford a second hand Audi or BMW or something like that. Okay. Again, issue becomes you look at what happened in the Basque country. Mm. They literally had to sack the government and the fellow ran away to Belgium or something like that. You remember this two, three years back? Yeah, yeah. They had they had the referendum. The Spanish government said you cannot have the referendum. They sacked the government. The fellow had to run. They arrested him for treason, brought him back, and all kinds of shit. Mm. I think people have forgotten what happened between Spain and the Basque areas of Spain just a few months back. Uh, sorry, Catalonia, not uh, Basque. Mm. Uh, Cat- Catalonia. So Barcelona mm. and things like that. The Basques have had a flourishing terrorism movement for quite some time. The thing is, there's been such an influx of uh, immigrants that their struggle, they they now identify themselves as more white than uh, uh, the immigrants. So it's now become an yeah. uh, issue of immigrant terrorism. Okay. Interesting. So the Basques didn't want to be seen in the same this thing as that. Remember IRA terrorists. Mm. IRA at that point, Britain, uh, Margaret Thatcher uh, 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 changed uh, the trajectory, the economic trajectory of Britain overnight. Yeah. Okay. It went from a third world, almost going to become third world country, into a very rich country. She achieved that in like four or five years. Mm. And IRA terrorism was at its peak under her and uh, John Major after that, right? Mm. Uh, uh, you, you look at separatist movements, say between the Walloons and the uh, uh, Flemish guys in uh, Holland, uh, in, sorry, mm. in uh, Belgium. You look at the differences between the North and South of Italy. They keep exacerbating yeah. with increased uh, 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 differences in wealth. So mm. I don't think that overall economic development in Kashmir is actually going to make a difference. Okay. It you needs to be to a combination, of- right? It needs to be an overall development of the rest of the country uh, coupled with, you know, the, the resettling no, of Kashmiri that, Hindus with servicemen there. Even that in Kashmir becomes very problematic. Kashmir, may, the solution is to deconflict the economy and have severe punishments for aiding and abetting in any form or way any kind of terrorism which does involve a certain level of collective punishment. Mm. Okay. Unfortunately, this is the reality of it. Deconfliction plus severe punishment plus economic growth. Economic growth is just one part. Okay. Remember, counterinsurgency is always a triangle. There is uh, uh, the the actual violence perpetrated by the state, uh, the uh, 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 provision of services by the Mm. state, and the uh, 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 development of the state. Mm. Okay. So it's called the counter-terrorism triangle. You have to do it. Yeah. So w- what exactly, before we move on to Rahul Gandhi, I do want to talk talk a little bit about him and then do some memes. But before that, what what exactly but do you mean when you say a, de-conflict the economy? That is, that is a meme. Rahul Gandhi is a meme. He's a meme. That's true. So that's that's what yes. will lean into the lead okay. into the meme so, review. So, no, but us. that doesn't change the fact yeah, about the TFR, na? TFR. Total fertility rate. Fertility. Jo baat kar rahe the, yeah, but that TF. still doesn't change, na? No, no, no. I'm not talking about fertility. Dekho, beta. When you say deconflict the economy, what is huh. a conflicted economy? Uh, let me give you the example of say Iran. Jesse sanctions hmm. lagi. The IRGC monopolized all the smuggling. Now you are getting state protection and you are smuggling. All your wealth is built up on that. So the IRGC, the moment sanctions go, the IRGC doesn't know what to do. Mm. The smugglers who depend on the IRGC don't know what to do. So let me tell you how the Kashmiri economy works right now. Mm. Cement extraction here, 90% of it is illegal. Okay. It was allowed because it was one of the few things that was feeding the economy out there on the ground. The problem was it was also funding terrorism in a way. Because the terrorists used to come extract hafta. They used to demand hafta for protection of the laborers who work in those cement factories who are mostly from Bihar and places like that. Mm. So there was a whole funding network which was feeding terrorism. All legitimate activity. Mm. Every legitimate activity you show me in Kashmir from bakery to restaurant or whatever was feeding terrorism some kind of a hafta. Okay. Mm. Second, what used to happen was political parties and things like that used to get their funding from the terror economy. 
there is zero accountability funds keep be getting given to kashmir to distribute to the people because there are no jobs mm. and everybody in that hierarchy gets a cut from that money okay then the government also introduces all kinds of useless new jobs mm. why because there nobody wants to invest out there so that is also dependent on the conflict economy agar conflict nahi hoga what what will the politicians do what will that entire see 60% why did i see 60% this is not my statistic this is a statistic i've heard from jammu kashmir police yeah the intake suppliers to the army vehicle providers to the army and the police or to security forces when i say army i'm just saying security forces in general not mm. just the army uh you know uh, look out guys informants everything like that 60% of all jobs in kashmir mm. are dependent in some form directly on the conflict hafta they they continuing the well being depends on paying to the this thing if they stop paying uh, 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 hafta then mm. they lose that protection which is not the main thing the problem is when they lose that protection why are those so amit shah raised that thing about cement prices in uh, kashmir when he gave the 370 application speech do you remember huh. why because it is a it is not an economically viable proposition to run that thing out there mm. you are running it because it's one of the few pieces of economic activity there so the government is essentially supporting you you're living off right government funds a conflict nikal do it's yeah. like removing drugs from a drug addict that is called now deconflicting the economy is what deconflicting is you understand all these linkages and you start providing new and legitimate business avenues where people can go on to new and legitimate jobs the job creation this thing where which mm. is not invested in conflict and you have to understand even the military and security forces are invested in that conflict mm. okay <clears throat> so that is what you mean by deconfliction of the economy okay all right well uh, i hope the government has something in mind uh, and Kushli. like kushal said and like Kushli. you said as well i think this is a this is a long term issue i mean if people expect this to be done or solved within the next couple of years i think that's wishful thinking i think this is going <laughs> to be a longer term issue uh, i do want to talk before we do mimi review to 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 lead into the mimi review i want to i want to play one of the greatest clips that i've seen on the internet in a very long time and i want to get your your opinion on on this clip as well so this is rahul gandhi uh doing a talk seminar something like that on cambridge where uh, he was asked a very intellectual question and he gave a very intellectual answer so i want everybody to watch this and i want to get your opinion on this as well so this is uh, rahul baba answering a question here it is so how you envision the compact between violence and non violence in indian society uh <laughs> what is he counting on his fingers <laughs> i think which question number it was <laughs> I mean, the word that comes to mind is is forgiveness, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's not it's not precisely the act the most accurate. It's <laughs> that lady is also like she she she's looking know. at the coach. She's looking at the coach. Sali, you need to know what she's coaching. I mean, there were questions before you sent it. You realize? <laughs> I'm thinking. You realize this is the funniest part of that video. video. I'm thinking. Uh, I didn't mean to stump you, but it's no, a very obvious. It's a very no, obvious I'm, question. You haven't stumped me. No one's asked obvious. you. I'm surprised. No, no, they lost. Have they? I'm not. <laughs> then why don't you have the? Why don't I know I'm the answer? I'm trying to go deeper in the answer. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I'm trying to go deeper. So. It's not even the, the funny thing about this video is that it's not even a complicated question. Like if she if she asked him about like some weird economic figures or something like that, I can understand people getting stumped. But how do you see violence and non-violence in Indian society? Is the most bloody softball, underhanded throw question you can ever get. And who's maybe by sa 15 minutes till soch re. I watched that <laughs> video and my first reaction was. 
as soon as i watched that video my first reaction was ki bhagwan rahul gandhi ko please lambi ayu dena aur agle 20 25 saal tak kam se kam opposition ka leader bana ke rakhna taki bharat ka bhala hota rahe that's uh, that was my reaction understand all these interviews are fixed yeah. everybody who knows even 5% of politics knows these interviews are fixed yeah after yeah. having fixed interviews <laughs> the man messes up <laughs> yeah isko se i'm sure he was probably coached as well i'm sure he was told as well ki bhai ye ye sawal puchhenge iska jawab yaad rakh lena theek hai <laughs> dude it, it it is i don't know what to say it's like sometimes you wonder ki matlab what is wrong with this gentleman and i feel bad for him i genuinely feel bad for him like my mind says that he doesn't want to be a politician and yeah. you know yeah. they're forcing him to do it and they should not he's do got it. the he's they got the same problem that joe biden has yeah he's got the same problem that joe biden has joe biden who bechara retire hona chahta tha lekin parivar wale usko retire nahi hone dete hain i think rahul gandhi has the same problem yeah. he just wants to go relax in nepal enjoy a couple of parties in bangkok नेपाल नेपाल ही नहीं होने देते हाँ? नेपाल तो उसका ऑब्लिगेशन है राहुल गांधी टू लिव लॉन्ग एंड प्रॉस्पर लॉन्ग एंड प्रॉस्पर ऑल वॉल्स uh chalo let's let's do some let's memes start. and then we'll take That's we'll it. take some of your questions we i saw a couple of good yeah. questions so we'll take them up so let's start but before chalo kya ho raha hai idhar shut up abhi ji shut up ye dekhiye okay prophet sachin sharma gyan vyapi masjid mein andar shivling milega 2022 mein December wow. 16, 2015 में बोल रखा है सचिन जी ने बताइए wow. हाँ ये तो wow. इनके स्टूडेंट है लगता है प्रधान जी के स्टूडेंट है प्रधान सर के स्टूडेंट है awesomeness be upon him as well. प्रधान जी का नाम मतलब मतलब थोड़ा मैं स्कार्ड हो रहा हूँ नहीं डिस्कस नहीं करना है नहीं करना है चलो नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट मतलब अभी हमारे मीम रिव्यू में अभिजीत के ट्वीट आने शुरू हो गए तो ये मतलब अभिजीत ने ट्वीट किया था दिस इज मोर दिस इज सम मोर ऑफ द क्वालिटी कंटेंट आई ज्वाइन ट्विटर फॉर नाइसली डन Uh, it was a pleasure to meet Sitaram Rachuri in London just now. <laughs> this son, a leader of his stature, moving around with any oh fuss, no God. drum beating, no cameras, no entourage, and nothing ah. flash. Why Modi is so popular? Why, as a country, we couldn't love the likes of Mr. Rachuri? Wow, nice picture. Who is it? This Sitaram Rachuri. <laughs> <laughs> this me. Arey, yar, kya baja hai? इसमें भाइयों और बहनों सब जाके हॉकाई एक्स को फॉलो करो वो एक्चुअली लड़का नहीं है वो लड़की है बहुत हॉट सी लड़की है उसको फॉलो करो उसको मैसेज करो उसको मैसेज करो मरवा लो उसकी जान ही ले लो ये साले सब पहुंच जाएंगे वहां पे उसको मैसेज करो हॉकाई बहन मत बोलना वो मेरी बहन है पर बोलना हॉकाई देख अभिजीत ने तेरे बारे में अच्छे अच्छे चीजें बोले हैं सेंड हॉट पिक्स प्लीज ऐसे करके उसका पूरा ट्विटर बर्बादी कर दो लड़की की लाइफ 
उसका ट्विटर टाइमलाइन शो के सारे हरामी पहुंच जाएंगे वहां पे और सब जाके हॉकाई को फॉलो करो वो बहुत सुंदर सी लड़की है और उसका ये ये क्लिप प्लीज एक कोई रिकॉर्ड करके हॉकाई बहन को के ट्वीट पे डालो कि मैंने क्या बोला हॉकाई के बारे में चड्डी का नाम चड्डी पे नाम लिखना नहीं भूलना वरना फिर हॉकाई नहीं मिलना सब 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 अब अपने Let's go boys. <laughs> Let's go boys. So, so all the boys watching, all the, all the boys watching, all the boys watching, don't forget Chaddi pe Hawkeye band ka naam likh. Hawkeye band ka naam likh na mat bolna. Okay. Ah, shabash. Next, next hai. Kya naam hai? Nunu butter masala. <laughs> अरे ये मैडम फिर से आ गई आप क्या बोल रही है मैडम यू नो व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट आवर चिल्ड्रन आई नो फॉर दिस ग्रुप वी ऑल बिलीव दैट व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द चिल्ड्रन ऑफ द कम्युनिटी दे आर अ चिल्ड्रन ऑफ द कम्युनिटी वाह When we talk about children of the community, we're talking about the children. अरे देखो भाई इसको कोई बीट नहीं कर सकता नुनू बटर मसाला को ये तो ये तो नाम ही नहीं इस डी नेम विनर ऑफ़ द वीक हंड्रेड परसेंट इसको आई थिंक दिस इस दिस इस डिफिकल्ट टू बी इफ नॉट इम्पॉसिबल दे दो इसको दे दो अवार्ड दे दो आप अमेरिका का बैड लक समझो अभी कि भारत में तो एक ही एक लौटा राहुल गांधी है लेकिन वहाँ साला दो दो हैं उनका प्रेसिडेंट वाइस प्रेसिडेंट दोनों राहुल गांधी हैं दैट्स द अमेजिंग थिंग अच्छा नेक्स्ट वन इज अलाइव अंडरस्कोर हकल बेरी नॉटी सीआईडी नॉटी सीआईडी तू मेरी आवाज जरूर सुन सकते हो क्या वॉट इट इज स्पेल आउट It's E N D N U D E S. Yeah, who has made it? Who has made it? And he has given a shout out. Yeah, happy end up. This is this was a great day. Not easy. You can't die. Oh man. 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 <laughs> तूने इसमें अच्छा शाम तेरा राहुल गांधी का तो दिखा चुके हैं राहुल गांधी का तो दिखा चुके हैं तो वो मैं नहीं दिखा नहीं वो दूसरा वर्जन है आई थिंक अ डिफरेंट वर्जन ओके ये मैंने डाला है देखो ये ये जो प्रीवियस मीम था ना ये सेंड न्यूज ये सब हॉकाई को प्राइवेट डीएम करो What nonsense! Chalo, ye dekho. Is this why he came? How you envision the compact Sunu, Sunu. between violence and non-violence in Indian society? Uh. <laughs> Hello, Rahul Baba. Bolo kuch. <laughs> the word that comes to mind is is forgiveness, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's not. it's not precisely the accu- the most accurate it's abey yaar ye kya aadmi hai isko maine show ke pehle sawal bhi bata rakha tha chhota bheem chhota bheem chhota bheem chhota bheem 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 you realize are taali bajao yaar mujhse ye dekha nahi ja raha aap i'm think i didn't mean to stop you think... why don't i know I'm the answer i'm going to go deeper in the answer okay oh. let's do this अरे माँ चुप रही है तेरे को बता रहे हो करे सो गजब बेजती है सो सारा 
राहुल राहुल पापा इकलौता आदमी है जिसको पहले ही आंसर बता दो फिर भी फेल हो जाता है एग्जाम में <laughs> ये राहुल पापा इज द ओनली मैन उसको ओपन बुक एग्जाम में कोई पॉइंट करके भी बता देगा तो भी फेल हो जाएगा तो भी फेल हो जाता है ये मस्त है दैट फेस व्हेन यू लीक द क्वेश्चन पेपर येट द स्टूडेंट फेल्स यस एग्जैक्टली इसका साले को प्राइवेटली ईमेल भी किया था क्वेश्चन पेपर ये फिर भी फेल हो गया ओह माय गॉडनेस गिव दैट कीप्स ऑन गिविंग सो यू नो आई वाज टॉकिंग टू अर्नब अ फ्यू इयर्स बैक अबाउट दैट इंटरव्यू द फेमस इंटरव्यू ही टुक ऑफ राहुल हम्म uh so you know rahul still blames him he think yes. arnab is the one that destroyed his political career that turned him into a meme really yeah huh. i thought But he was he genu- how, when was no, that no, was no. it like 2019 right when was it yeah uh, i think uh, no no 20 13 end oh acha 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 or or early 2014 one of the two just before the 2014 election before modi came to power and manmohan yeah. singh was still the prime minister hmm You know, Arnab was telling me that Priyanka was actually sitting behind. No way. Yeah, and he could see that she knew the interview was going south. Huh. So they actually tried to take away the tape. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh Apparently. they tried to take away the tape but the thing was they handed over a fake tape they said ye tape hai he knew something like that was going to happen <laughs> okay so they actually they had budgeted for something like this yeah and what they had done was they kept they, they had kept a whole set of tapes uh, khali tapes and uh, this tapes yeah that they handed over uh, yeah wow Yeah that's amazing. <laughs> that's And so amazing. I don't know what why Rahul Gandhi so Arnab doesn't know why Rahul Gandhi blames him either for giving him the fake tapes or conducting the interview <laughs> in the first place. Giving him the fake tape that's why. <laughs> And mind you Arnab softballed it he never asked him any tough questions. Yeah I've seen that interview he, it's, it's not it's it, not it was, as bad as the, he makes it out to be. No 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 look it, it's terrible. It, it's no, terrible for the context. No, his questions aren't as bad as you make them out to be. It's no, not like he yeah, was yeah, trying yeah. to like you know gotcha him or anything like that. See, it, yeah, exactly. It, it was a very non-confrontative, non-combative. It was actually quite an empathetic interview. <laughs> yeah. The problem was that even with an empathetic interview, yeah, you score a slam dunk of failure. <laughs> it's like teacher saying, "Beta, two plus two, कितना है?" Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> uh, Rahul says. Seven, madam. Forty-five, <laughs> madam. Forty-five. <laughs> okay, the next uh-huh. one is a photo. Same energy. Bilkul Rajiv Gandhi, jaise dikte hai ma Rahul. Rahul. Maya. Maya yo. Bilkul Rahul Gandhi, jaise dikte hai Maya yo. Yeah, niche. बहुत फनी है बहुत फनी बना है बहुत फनी है राहुल राजीव गांधी दिखते हैं मायो जिस जिसने ये पिक्चर देखी उसको ये समझ पड़ गया है उसको पता है जिसने ये फिल्म देखी उसको पता है माया यो क्या होता है क्या होता है भाई वो के बेसिकली उसमें तुषार कपूर गुंगा है और जब उसको गाली देनी होती थी ना माँ की बहन के जो माया यो बोलता था क्योंकि माधव चौध नहीं बोल सकता था मायो ये दिखते मिल ये कोई बोल रहा है माओ गांधी बिल्कुल माओ गांधी दिखते है कितनी लेते हैं इसका टाइटल है जल्दी बोल पनवेल जाना जल्दी पनवेल <laughs> 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 
यार इंटरव्यू की भी हालत सोचो जरा दो मिनट के लिए <laughs> कल ही बिठा के इसको सारे जवाब बताए <laughs> बेजती करा रहा अंग्रेजों के पास राहुल नेवर चेंज ये मजा आ गया ये मीम ये फोटो देख के ब्रिलियंट है यार माया यो माया यो ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज बाय स्टाइलिस्टिक्स सिंह कांग्रेस मुक्त भारत श्याम शर्मा शो रेडिट मैदान से बजना चाहिए कांग्रेस मुक्त भारत का सपना हिंदुस्तान ये मैं कर लेता हूं। आप नाइस नाइस मैं कर लेता हूँ आप टीम इलेवन पे टीम बना लो टीम इलेवन पे टीम बनाओ नाइस गुड गुड आई लाइक मीम यार आई लाइक दिस मीम आई लाइक दिस मीम गुड मीम हैप्पी एंड अप फ्रॉम मी गुड आई अप्रीशियट इट क्रिकेट फैन है क्रिकेट फैन है क्रिकेट की एड को यूज किया है इम्प्रेसिव सेक्युलर मी सेक्युलर मी 100 सेज ब्रिटिश आइडियोलॉजी लेट्स सी व्हाट ब्रिटिश आइडियोलॉजी इज लेट्स सी ओ आई नो दिस सीन आई नो दिस सीन इज इट्स अ गुड गुड चॉइस Eventually, after many months at sea, Griffin Peterson and his shipmates finally reached the new world. I declare this land Kohard. This place is nothing but a wilderness. What are we going to do? We're going to build a new settlement. We'll have a happy new life, and we'll have equal rights for all, except blacks, Asians, Hispanics, Jews, gays, women, Muslims, um, everybody who's not a white man. And I mean white, white. So no Italians, no Polish, just people from Ireland, England, and Scotland. But only certain parts of Scotland and Ireland, just full-blooded whites. No, you know what? Not even whites. Nobody gets any rights. <laughs> American. <laughs> you know what? No, nobody gets any rights. <laughs> and last That's one. A good uh, That's a good meme. America. Ah, America. That's a good meme. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Um. Oh fuck! You can. आराम जाने अभी शेयर करना पड़ेगा इसको तो शेयर करना पड़ेगा इसको मैंने रीट्वीट किया इस आई आई ब्रिलियंट आई अप्रिशिएट द ह्यूमर ऑल्दो इट्स ऑन मी ऑल्दो इट्स ऑन मी का क्या हुआ द ह्यूमर ऑन यू इज द फनीएस्ट यूजुअली सेल्फ ह्यूमर इज द फनीएस्ट सटायर सारथी हैज डन गांडू शिकारी आईसीआईसीआई वाले देखे क्या है आईसीआईसीआई वाले शुरू में वो ऐसे उठाता है नीचे लिखा हुआ दोबारा लिखा दोबारा लिखा you know what i liked most about this was yeah. uh, this thing he it is from a tamil movie ah true and na ah. very true very true what what tamil picture was it i don't know the name of the film i remember is ka hindi what was the hindi name of the film i've seen the Dekho, hindi version of the film main ye share kar raha hu main naam nahi read karne wala hu kyunki mujhe jail nahi jana नहीं मत करना मत करना बस मीम शेयर करो बस ये नाम तुम लोग काजलन 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 वाज अ वेरी गुड मूवी ऑल सॉन्ग काजलन फक गानम शेरवानी पोस्ट अ फोटो पोस्ट इट चला राउंड द फोटो एकदम सही 
pagliare Maitone. Professor Maitone, è che dam sei pagliare. Non è generale. Che è un umore, 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 è <laughs> okay. Our Chota NDTV 786, only UP Bihar people will understand. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. Our NDTV is not going to be able to do it. Delhi boys. Brown Mundi is going to be able to do it. And the guard is going to be able to do it. Volume down, we are going to be able to do it. That is true. 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 Everybody bloody knows you in the neighborhood. Hey, Panam Chacha, Panam Chacha. That's very, that's very relatable. I remember, I remember there was that one time my mom told me not to like ride motorcycles at night because I was scared of them. But I used to still do it. And I remember one time I was riding on the motorcycle. I saw my auntie's auntie see some so many blocks away. And somehow my mother got to still know. That is that is Patna in a nutshell for you. Nobody's business is their business. That's India in a nutshell, boss. Yeah, that's that's in India in a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your business is never just your business. Secular Me 100 shares that was some reaction. Okay, let's see the reaction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was so oh, I've seen this. This is Look at the loads. She's play that again. Out play that again. Cold. I want to see that again. She's out Dude, cold. Dude, this is Neymar's daughter. This is Neymar's daughter. She's out cold, man. Hey! You're not going to say it, man. You're supposed to be talking about it. You're not going to say 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 it. What the fuck? What the fuck? Look at her. It looks like she got uh, she got head kicked by <laughs> Michael Chandler. <laughs> Michael Chandler ne head kick Marty by the way. Kisi ne must likha hai. Should have added the song. Oh, Sali current Marty hai. That's true. That's true. Dude, what a oh. freaking drama queen. Kya baat hai yaar. Kya baat hai. This, this reminds me of, the, there's, there's a bunch of videos in the US as well. Yeah, Portland magara mein jab bhi protest hota hai na. The police even breathes your way and you just basically pass out. So, this one is called, uh, uh, by, this one is called Patra Thug Life by Shrikant 286. 268. Then <laughs> <laughs> Samit Patra. Samit Haraf te aata hai. Samit Haraf te kaam hi karta rata हिंदुस्तान <laughs> 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 Sambit actually thug life hai. Sambit I appreciate Sambit total thug life hai, yaar. he's total bloody thug life <laughs> okay this one is by oh Rohan 0505 he says sorry oh. sorry sorry that's the title of his photo <laughs> yeah, dekho, the last Gandhi Bahadur Shah Duffer <laughs> Ha 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 
بہادر شاہ ڈفر بہت مزے کا You boys have standards. Ah, what did you make? Yeah, this is the best one. This was one of my favorite ones of the week. This was awesome. Big happy enough for you, my friend. Ah, <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, fuck. Worried Dash Peak 7972 says, Hey, Dash Peak, what are you doing? Hey, Dash Peak, what are you doing? Hey, Dash Peak, we live in a society. Is it the title? Meltits matter. Ha, 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 سچ بات ہی تو ہے سو This is a top secret I want to tell all of you guys. No respect to me, man. This is left me, the girl is here, na. This is actually what Hawkeye looks like. Ah, or more walo. So, so, so all you boys, go post this picture on his timeline oh, and ask him. Oh, let's go. Then, ye tu hai na. Melt it, melt it. راہل کے پاس مارس میں مارس پہ بھی زمین ہے پھر سمت آ گیا پھر پھر آ گیا ان کے لیے کوئی نیم نہیں کوئی قانون نہیں ڈکیتی کی بات کرتے ہو اچھا آ رہا ہوں آ رہا ہوں آ رہا ہوں دیکھیے پہلے تو آپ ڈرے ہوئے ہیں ڈرے تو نہیں ہوئے نا انہوں نے کہا کہ آپ سب ڈرے ہوئے ہیں آپ ڈرے تو نہیں ہوئے نا یہ ڈرے نہیں اتنے ڈرے ہوئے کہ بتا بھی نہیں پا رہے ٹھیک ہے ٹھیک ہے آپ بتا نہیں پا رہے بتائیے کھل کے بتائیے آپ لوگ سب ڈرے ہوئے ہیں یہ سارے سارے ڈرے ہوئے ہیں بس یہ کانگریس والے ڈرے نہیں باقی سب ڈرے ہوئے ہیں دوسری بات ہے انہوں نے کہا کہ انگریزوں سے ہم سرٹیفکیٹ لیتے ہیں ہاں ہاں آپ دیکھیے دھیان سے میں تو انگریزی ہوں مگر میں تو انگریز ہی ہوں آپ جان نہیں پا رہے میں انگریز ہی ہوں مگر میڈم سونیا گاندھی کا جنم جھومری تلیا میں ہوا تھا میں انگریز ہوں اس کو کوئی کوئی شک نہیں بتائیے مطلب جس کے گھر میں ادھیکشا اور ان کے سپتر سب بدیش کے ہیں وہ صبح سب ہمیں انگریز کہتے ہیں میرے کو اچھے سے دیکھیے میں انگریز دکھتا ہوں اس کے بعد انہوں نے ڈکیتی کی بات کی اب دیکھیے زمین کس کے پاس کتنی ہے چھوڑ دیجیے ہندوستان کی زمین اگر آپ جا کے منگل گرہ میں بھی اور برہسپتی میں بھی زمین دیکھیں گے تو وہاں بھی وارڈرا کی کمپنی چلے گی وہاں بھی زمین لیا یار یہ دوڑا دوڑا کے مارتا ہے پیپل دا ینگر جنریشن فالو اینڈ ایسپائر ٹو بی لائک اوکے کون سا پکشی ہے جو اپنی گردن کو ٹو ہنڈریڈ اینڈ سیونٹی ڈگری تک پہلے میں نے بجایا آؤل آپ کو کچھ بولنا ہے جانوی چراف پکشی میوزک مطلب دوبارہ بولنا پڑا پکشی ہے میڈم پکشی اچھا ہمارا ننو بٹر مسالہ 
फिर आ गया बैक हाँ उला लाला ऐसा उसने टाइटल रखा है उला लाला नुनू बटर मसाले वाले ने बटर नुनू बटर मसाला मैं कभी ये नाम नहीं बोलूंगा फर्स्ट वेव फेमिनिज्म वी वांट टू बी इक्वल टू मेन सेकंड वेव फेमिनिज्म वी डोंट नीड मेन थर्ड वेव फेमिनिज्म वी आर दिस वन इज आल्सो गुड बाय द वे यू वांट टू सी अ अ ग्रेट टेक डाउन ऑफ वोकिज्म Please go and watch Ricky Gervais's new stand-up comedy special on Netflix. Super nature, oh, right? Oh my goodness! Wow, wow! Super nature, right? That's drama, awesome. The last one is. What's the name? Suki Ui Tatti. Suki Ui Tatti. The title is. टाइटल है फादर शर्मा माय गॉड सूखे हुए टट्टा इडली लाइक कुशल सेड वी केम टुगेदर एंड द रीजन वी गेट अलोंग विद ईच अदर सो वेल इज बिकॉज़ वी हैव दिस वेरी डीप सिटी मीडिया वाला सिविलाइजेशन एंड ऑल थ्री ऑफ अस वांट टू डू व्हाटएवर वी कैन टू प्रिजर्व इट एंड इन 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 माय केस स्पेसिफिक्स specifically i'm sure the other two will probably agree as well but in my case specifically i want to export it i want to grow it i want to convert non indians into sanatana dharma that's my goal before i die i want to convert at least 500000 people into sanatana dharma so uh, <laughs> i know you copy my style <laughs> with <Without> security <laughs> मगर और कुछ आया है मैं देख रहा हूँ संजीव सैनियाल स्ट्रीट क्लिक ऑन दीडियो दैट इज कोटेड फर्स्ट शो दैन क्लिक ऑन दीडियो The अच्छा, tweet दिखाओ. says this is the reason the Indian Tiger Foundation. दिखाओ, 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 हाँ, दिखाओ, दिखाओ. Bring it up on screen. Okay. Suki, Suki, wait a minute. No butter masala. Okay. The chief reason that India's tiger population dropped in the 1970s. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what the hell? This is this is why. <laughs> ये डिंपल कपाड़िया को देखकर और डिंपल कपाड़िया को खाकर ही साले मरे 1970s में there was a huge drop in the tiger population. द बिफोर वी टेक क्वेश्चंस ये हरमीत ने रिक्वेस्ट किया था सो आई एम गोना डू इट फॉर आई कुरेंट दिखा और क्या है अरे किसी ने ट्विटर पे शेयर किया ढूंढना मैं तब तक हरमीत की विश पूरी कर देता हूँ नहीं नहीं मगर हरमीत की विश करने के पहले हमारी विश बता दे लोगों को पेट्रियॉन की Okay, guys. Again, uh, just to reiterate, if you're not a member on Patreon yet, you can become a member. It is s patreon dot com slash s s s global. The link is in the description. Uh, to click on the link, become a member, and uh, help the channel grow, man. So yeah. And now, as per Harmeet's request, I have to play this because Friday आने वाला है. You get a player. What was going on? मुझे भेज दे. अरे यार ये play नहीं हो रहा. अ? अभी हुआ? हाँ हो गया. अभी play कर.
कुचल को समझ में आ गया हरमीत को समझ में आ गया वीडियो मैन ये लाइफ होनी चाहिए सबकी सबको लाइफ में इसी तरह का एंथुजियाजम होना चाहिए हरमीत का नर्चेल हरमीत का आईजे मैथ्यू बोलता है डिंपल डिंपल ने टाइगर के अंदर का शशि थरूर जगा दी इसमें लीगल लीगल चीजों को इन्वॉल्व नहीं होना चाहिए आई थिंक हिंदूज एंड मुस्लिम शुड गेट टूगेदर एंड सॉल्व दिस इशू टूगेदर एंड द मुस्लिम शुड हैंड ओवर द मोस्ट सीक्रेट साइट्स ऑफ द हिंदूज बैक टू द हिंदूज आई थिंक दैट्स व्हाट ही सेड बट ही आल्सो सेड एट द सेम टाइम दैट यू शुड नॉट ले अ क्लेम ऑन एवरी सिंगल मॉन्यूमेंट दैट हैज बीन डिस्ट्रॉयड सो आई थिंक दैट इज हिज एंटायर स्टेटमेंट एंड व्हेन यू लिसन टू द एंटायर स्टेटमेंट इट्स अ लॉट मोर रीजनेबल देन द लिटिल वन लाइन दैट्स गोइंग वायरल ऑन ट्विटर सो At least that's what I saw. I, I'm guessing that. एक वो भी एक बहुत अच्छा था आज वो तुम लोग ने देखा था वो actually डाला नहीं हम लोग ने. I think that was a great satire on uh, on Rahul Gandhi's thought process. <laughs> ये ये share भी कर सकते हैं क्योंकि jail जाएंगे. मगर एक ये अच्छा था. एक ये अच्छा था मेरे को ये अच्छा लगा था. <laughs> Batman. Batman. <laughs> एक मगर इससे भी इससे भी डेडली था यार बहुत सारी बैट भी मैंने आजकल इससे भी डेडली था एक वो साला मैं शेयर करूं कि नहीं करूं मेरे को समझ में नहीं आ रहा है करे चैनल मत बंद करवा देना अभी चैनल चलाना है अभी और ये ये देखो अंत वक्त एक बीमारी है मिया एक सवाल पूछना चाहेंगे जिसको हमने आज तक देखा भी नहीं है उस अल्लाह के नाम पर लुल्ली उड़ा देना भी आत्म भक्ति नहीं है क्या आज कर रहे हैं आप सवाल कीजिए बस आपको बोला ना होने का लिहाज कर रहे हैं बोला ना होने का लिहाज ना ना कुछ है नाम देखो उसका नाम देखो तुमने नाम देख के नहीं पहचाया हर हम उद्दीन नाम नहीं देखा तुमने यार मौलाना साहब हो गए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट मौलाना साहब है हर हम उद्दीन Chutio, read it out from the vernacular to me without laughing. I can't understand you reading it out when you're laughing. Ab chup, I'm going to read it out. Hindi ni padhiyat padhiyat. Chup, chup, and bhak. Chup. For all of those of you who don't read vernacular, first, Professor Sheikh Sadiq Buri. Bandi karwa de chalo. And and bhak bhak kit ek. Oh oh my God! Is is this is this how he reads Hindi? Ma- What the fuck is going on here? जिसको हमने आज तक देख भी नहीं है उस अल्लाह के नाम पर लुल्ली आधा देने उड़ा दे उड़ा उड़ा आधा की तरह उड़ा उड़ा देने अंध भक्त भक्त 
शक्ति नहीं है क्या अच्छा ओके तो प्रोफेसर सादिक शेख रिप्लाइज रहकर सवाल कीजिए बस आपके मौलाना होने का लिहाज कर रहे हैं यार ही डिट गेट इट दैट ही बिंग ट्रोल उसका नाम मौलाना है उसका नाम मौलाना मोहन यार ये क्या होता है ट्विटर पे मैंने जब ये देखा मेरा मेरा सदमे में आ गया मैं और एक राहुल गांधी के ऊपर भी मस्त था एक फोटो बनाई थी जैसे इंडिया इज यूनियन ऑफ स्टेट्स माय बॉडी इज यूनियन ऑफ ऑर्गेन्स यूनियन ऑफ ऑर्गेन्स एंड यू नो व्हाट द वर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ इट इज व्हाट अंबेडकर इज ऑन कोर्ट रिजेक्टिंग इट या यू हैव यू सीन द कोर्ट हैव यू सीन द एग्जैक्ट कोर्ट लेट मी सेंड यू वन सेकंड I yeah. tweeted it out. This uh, UPSC kid, he sent me this thing. I I want to read that particular quote out for you guys, hmm. because word for word it contradicts every single thing. Uh, I am going to send this to you. Dek, uh, Why this is Abhijit from me. This? I've sent it to you. It is from the constitution. This is in November nineteen forty eight. It's from the Constituent Assembly debates. Ye <laughs> ne. <laughs> the union of organs <laughs> okay let me put it up abhi yeah i'll put the photo up all right be hindi <laughs> dekho mera hindi bahut acha hai tum logon ko mera dekho mera hindi is like rahul gandhi's compact between violence and non violence i'm thinking in deep non existent to to tum 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 sab chutiye log hai tumhare ko samajh mein nahi aata hai so let me read this particular huh. part out hmm. uh some critics have taken objection to the description this is bab uh, baba sahib bhimrao ambedkar talking hmm. on the 4th of november 1948 in the constituent assembly somebody mm. had raised the question why have you called it the union of india in the in the draft constitution mm. some critics have taken objection to the description of india in article 1 of the draft constitution as a union of states mm. it is said that the correct phraseology should be a federation of states it is true that south africa which is a unitary state is described as a union but canada which is a federation is also called a union thus the description of india as a union though its constitution is federal does no <laughs> violence to usage but what is important is that the use of the word union is deliberate this mm. is the starting of the important part what is important is that the use of the word union is deliberate i do not know why the word union was used in the canadian constitution but i can tell you why the drafting committee has used it this is coming out of the chairman of the drafting committee of what the drafting committee itself thought hmm. the drafting committee wanted to make clear that though india was to be a federation the federation was not the result of an agreement by the states to join in a federation hmm and that the federation not being the result of an agreement no state has the right to secede yeah from it the federation is a union because it is indestructible mm. though the country and the people may be divided into different states for the convenience of administration that is the yeah. only reason for the convenience of administration the country is one integral whole mm. its people a single people <laughs> living under a single imperium derived mm. from a single source Yeah. the americans had to wage a civil war to establish that the states have no right of secession and their federation was indestructible mm. the drafting committee thought it was better to make it clear at the outset rather than to leave it to speculation or to dispute mm. listen to this last word rather than to leave it to speculation or dispute ye kaisa chutiya hai exactly what rahul gandhi was doing yeah exactly yeah <laughs> he was doing both he was speculating and disputing to lo ka kar raha tha aadmi um okay let's take this question this is from kapil gund is asking abhijit what did you think about the quad summit outcome 
Was there an outcome? They made lots of statements. They said we're going to co- collaborate on this, collaborate on that, collaborate on that, collaborate. Yeah. Um, like, was there any concrete outcome? कि ये करेंगे वो करेंगे? Hmm. वो तो समय ही बताएगा ना? हाँ. See, you have to understand. There's a lot of difference between what people are willing to say in public and what willing to, uh, people are willing to say in private. Mm. In private, there's a lot of fatigue about the quad. We try to do it, but you know, it's see all the frills on the side. Mm. They are put like uh, they are put like icing on the cake to mask what the cake is about. Mm. But at its core, the cake is a military alliance against China. Yeah. Now, when India refuses to integrate all its systems with that NATO standard, this thing, why can't military alliance boss? When you can't even talk to each other, what yeah. alliance will happen? Yeah. Uh, there's a question here by Ashish Mishra. Ashish is asking, why is it that the old temples have survived in southern and certain other regions of India? even though they were also attacked under islamic rule compared to say gangetic plains where most of the older temples have been completely razed to the ground repeat so all right i i don't know if i can find the question but i'll read it out again why is it that the old temples have survived in southern india and other regions of india even though they were also attacked under islamic rule compared to say gangetic plains where most of the temples have been totally razed to the ground There is no Very comparison important. in the attacks, na? Yeah. When did See, the northern part attacks, of India get attacked? But there, there was no occupation. Remember, Muslim rule, Muslim occupation was an Indo-Gangetic occupation. Yes. The south, there were forty. So when Malik Kafur comes, he comes, demolishes the Madurai temple, goes back, and then people rebuild it. You mm. know, the current Madurai temple only dates from seventeen hundred and seventy something. Hmm. Okay, when British influence had already already created a kind of equilibrium out there. Mm. Hmm. So there is a lot. So every temple you look at in the south has, in some fundamental way, just been rebuilt in the last three four hundred years. Okay, Bhredeshwara Temple, the Chora Temple, mm. had stopped functioning as a temple. They say it is a cursed temple because slave labor was used, which is never meant to be. That Rajendra Chora, uh, sorry, Raja Raja Chora used slave labor. and that curse the temple because a curse uh, because a temple is meant to be built with shraddha in the heart mm. it can't be built out of misery of somebody else mm. okay which is why you do kar seva for a temple yeah mm. so that is why they say that the shiva out there has no power you know the bhredeshwara temple can't even pay its own money wow it is the yeah it is the tanjore it is a small temple in tanjore <clears throat> town proper which gets all the uh, uh, money in And Bhredeshwara, it's a tiny temple. Uh, and the Bhredeshwara, the uh, uh, Chora Bhredeshwara temple is a subsidiary of that. It is the oh. same reason they they say all the Chora temples are cursed. Be it uh, 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 Raja Raja Chora's Bhredeshwara, uh, Rajendra Chora's uh, Gangai Konda Chora Puram temple, which is technically higher than the Bhredeshwara temple, and the uh, Darasuram temple. Okay, uh, there's the fourth temple which I forget. There the four uh, great uh, Chora temples. Mm. Two of them are the same style. So Gangai Konda Chora Puram and Bhredeshwara are the same style, but Darasuram and the other one are a very different style. But they say they are all cursed, which is why the uh, uh, deity there does not have power. Mm. Which is why they wouldn't have even been seen as worth destroying. They would have no wealth in them. They would have no emotional connect with them. Uh, mm. They were apparently almost abandoned temples. Mm. Okay, because nobody would go there and pray. Yeah. So this actually highlights why Ayodhya, Kashi, Mathura are so important because people never stopped praying out there or remembering that yeah. there was something out there. And mm. in the south, when Malik Kafur comes out, when the Madurai Sultanate, the Madurai Sultanate was the most horrible Sultanate in all of India. Tughla, mm. Kalauddin, Khilji, none of them were as bad as them. Ibn Battuta, who was uh, uh, who went and visited there, was stunned by even uh, Muhammad bin Tughla wasn't as bad as the Madurai Sultanate. Achha. It lasted for a short time before they were kicked out, but it was uh, they were kicked out, so it was rebuilt. It was rebuilt several times, mm. but where there was no population left after that. So, for you look at uh, Vijayanagar, all the monuments at Hampi. Why were they never rebuilt? Lepakshi mm. Temple and all those places. Why were they never rebuilt after that? Because there was no settlement in there after that. 
it was depopulated completely depopulated mm. so in the north you had a consistent <clears throat> occupation for 700 years yeah you didn't kick them out wherever the kick outs happened you have a spurt in temple building yeah uh all right here's a question for kushal from arya vishwaroop he is asking do you think that the death penalty is anti libertarian well yeah some libertarians do give that argument but uh, yeah i don't agree with that argument at all because for my my point what is, is that I, what why is it anti libertarian well they say penalty? that uh that 5% of uh, uh, there is a very high percentage of bad judgments which is around yeah. 5% and that's why you basically are killing a lot of people so my case is that yes i agree which is why the death penalty should be used in the rarest of rare cases and mm. there are enough examples of rarest of rare cases that can justify a death penalty especially mm. in a country like india देखो हॉकाई दीदी ने हॉकाई दीदी ने मेरे को मैसेज भेजा है आपकी गैंग ने आपकी पोल खोल दी है मैंने नहीं बोला भाई ये मेरे को मीटू मत कर देना बाद में ये ना मैंने किया है ना इसमें न कुशल ने किया ये सब अभिजीत का है अगर ये मीटू होगा तो अभिजीत को करना प्लीज Not so send news as per Abhijit, Ankit ah. Kumar. Please blame Abhijit. ये मेरे शब्द नहीं हैं मुझको मजबूर किया गया है आपसे ये बोलने. Jinesh Garg, Ayerwal said you are beautiful girl. Oh my. Jack Wiley, Abhijit Ayer Mitra ने बोला है DM करने के लिए. हाँ Abhijit Ayer Mitra ने बोला हमने कुछ नहीं बोला. See ये Abhijit है ना Abhijit अपना homo होने का बहुत फायदा उठाता है. हाँ ये साला बहुत फायदा उठाता है. <laughs> हम लोगों को भी साथ में डुबाएगा <laughs> ये देखिए अंगारी का बार बार कुछ हे द हॉकाई एक्स हे बेबी आई हर्ड यू आर सेक्सी बेबी फिर से यो बेबी डॉल सेंड हॉट पिक्स फिर हेलो प्लीज सेंड हॉट पिक्स अयरवाल टोल्ड अस यू आर हॉट एज फक एंड वी कांट गेट सब हॉट पिक्स जस्ट बाय आस्किंग यू भाई ये हमने में से किसी ने मैंने नहीं बोला ठीक है यस जीरो एंडोर्समेंट फ्रॉम मी प्लीज Do not approach any girl on social media on my account. Zero endorsement yes. from me. Do not approach not any girl. My... But but approach Hawkeye. Ah, ठीक है. That is according to Abhijit, not according to me. ये मैंने नहीं बोला. सब उसको. ये ना. सब उसको follow करो. जब भी ऐसा कुछ होता है ना ये लोग से ये LGBT वाले निकल जाएंगे बोल के कि मैं तो LGBT हूँ हम लोग ही लग जाएगी. तो ठीक है. तो हमको please बचा के रखना हमको. Uh, see, let's see. Statement. I was just subjected to vicious homophobic assault. <laughs> यार और कोई सवाल है कि नहीं बहुत सारे कमेंट्स में देख रहा हूँ मौलाना साहब इज बैक मौलाना साहब ने क्या कर दिया आप मौलाना सो अभिजीत का बेस्ट फ्रेंड जुबैर बर्बाद हमारी तरफ से छोटा सा कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ये क्या हुआ जुबेर रामुद्दीन राम उसको भी जुबेर को भी कह उसके आगे लिखा है उगर ताली बने अब साले पढ़ते नहीं हो ये कुछ भी रामुद्दीन अला रामी यार ये बंदा तो लेजेंड बनी है इस हफ्ते सोशल मीडिया पे लेजेंड बना हुआ मतलब क्या हो रहा है ओ माय गॉड अमेजिंग I don't uh, think so. We can top this. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. This is a, I think this is a good place to end today's episode. Yeah. Uh, thanks again, as usual, guys, for uh, for f- watching the show. Thank you again for participating, sending us your questions, sending us your oh, memes. Oh, Patreon पे support करो हमको बेशर्मो. हाँ, Patreon पे जाकर support करो, become members, help us take the show out on the road. फिर आना हम लोगों को देखने के लिए मजा आएगा साथ में मीमी review करेंगे हैं in in person in public. 
Uh, so we'll enjoy ourselves in over there. If you want to submit your memes, if you haven't joined the subreddit yet, go ahead, click on the link down below and join the subreddit. Original meme, badhiya wale, achche achche, zara submit karo, taaki ham log meme review pe aapke saath baat kar enjoy kar sakhe agle hafte. Other than that, thanks again to Kushal and Abhijit as usual for joining. We will see you uh, next week. If you like this episode, like, share, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. Comment in the section, uh, comment sections, and abuse us as well. We'll speak till then. Tata, bye bye. Khush raho aur and, uh, Thursday ko phir milenge. And, and also follow Hawkeye and keep DMing him through the week. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, keep DMing her through the week. <laughs> DM her. There you go. <laughs>